Hey guys. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get the Magma Dragon video up to you. I did do some recordings on it. Um, it's sitting in my Google Drive right now. I was going to put it together, but I feel this needs to be talked about first. This is not raid related. It is gaming related though. And it's something that is very dark and disturbing. And I'm going to come out and say that there needs to be a boycott of Hasbro products in Magic of the Gathering. Especially Magic of the Gathering. I have a very small fan base. There's like 190 of you, I think. But I do want to put this out there because I, uh, I grew up playing Magic the Gathering. I was a big fan of it forever. I'd bought and sold collections. I'd lost a lot of money on it because I just, you know, needed money so I'd sell all my cards, you know, kind of thing. Played in a lot of big tournaments. You know, I'd go to regionals, states, uh, 5Ks, 2Ks, shit like that. I did okay. My brother Corey introduced me to Magic when I was, I think, 10 or 12 between there seventh edition he bought two starter decks and tried to teach me how to play i remember watching him even when i was younger play magic with his buddy joel at the kitchen table and you know being a little brother you always want to get in you always want to play the game and you know his older brother's like oh no fuck off go go do something else you know <laughs> go play with bd babies or something you weirdo um I've been very passionate about Magic the Gathering for as long as I can remember. Almost my entire life. And I'm 33. And this really does break my heart. Enough sob story of the backstory on me. I'm going to tell you what happened. There was this guy. And we're just going to scroll up here. You can find this online. It's being covered freaking everywhere. But there's this YouTuber here. And let me find him here. His name is Old School MTG. So if you go go to his channel... Uh, he's been posting updates on what's happened. Uh, the too long didn't read, too long didn't watch version is he had bought product. He was wanting collector boxes of March of the Machine to open on his channel. Because if you don't know, opening product online, like on YouTube and stuff, is very, very popular. It's just like with Rage Shadow Legends, you have, um, you, you have like shard opening videos. They always get the most views because people love that, that dopamine kick, even if they're the ones that not receiving the benefit per se but they're watching it and it you know it's kind of like it's like when you quit smoking and then you walk by people that are smoking and you take the breaths in on the smoke because you're wanting that second hand and essentially it's why people watch those kind of videos they want second hand uh i guess gambling essentially is what it is it's all gambling so this guy buys this product and then he gets a product that has not been uh, made public yet shipped to him instead and from what i can gather between a couple different news articles and agent in agencies uh, kutaku and uh and gadget who i have pulled up right here after i heard about this this morning which i'm surprised i haven't heard about it until today it's been going on for a couple days now he gets this product he's like shit and he makes a video on it he's like guys this is the wrong product weird he makes a video posts the video Hasbro slash Wizards of the Coast see the video and they're none too pleased. So who do they fucking send to deal with this guy? The Pinkertons. The fucking Pinkertons. You know those guys that used to shoot, you know, union activists in cold blood because they were paid by big corporations to go and break that shit up because they didn't want to lose their monopoly on a hardworking American citizen? Yeah, Wizards of the Coast fucking hired those guys. So those guys go, and they go to this guy's house, and they, they intimidate the shit out of him. They strong arm him. They threaten a bunch of legal action, a bunch of litigation to try and get him to give all the cards up. Because if he didn't, they were going to get a hold of the local sheriff. They're going to detain him until the sheriff could get there to arrest him. And then they were going to make him show receipts for each magic card in his house, in his collection. Which is over a million cards. And that's that's really not saying a lot. I mean, people have... Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of cards, you know? That could have been any one of us that was still big into the game. Fucking ridiculous, right? So you ask yourself, did Wizards of the Coast 
did they make a phone call to this guy beforehand? Did they reach out and be like, hey, you know, um, can you like return the product and we'll send you something for compensation and blah, blah, blah. No, they didn't do any of that shit until after all that was done. The spokesperson for Wizards of the Coast, let me just read it down here. Uh, let me see here. Right here. A Wizards of the Coast spokesperson confirmed to Polygon and Kotaku that the company sent the private security firm to Old School MTG as part of their investigation into the leak. The YouTuber says the contact he spoke to at Wizards of the Coast offered to send them free products as compensation for what had happened. For what it's worth, his YouTube viewership has also doubled since the original video went up. Good for that guy. He at least deserves that. You know what he didn't deserve, though? To have a bunch of fucking jackbooted thugs to come into his house and start breaking shit up like a bunch of black and tans. You know what I'm saying? You know what black and tans are? You probably don't. Those are the special military group that the English used to go to Ireland and fuck shit up when the IRA was big and trying to get their country back. All right. You can tell this is a hot button topic for me because it really does seem like dreary days in the world. And to hear that Wizards of the Coast did this kind of shit to a regular person, to an American citizen, is kind of fucking bonkers. You know, American citizen, not even. A regular dude. Just a guy. They sent a security firm to his house. Again, a bunch of jackbooted thugs. I don't agree with it. I think this is the last straw. If you follow me... You've seen me do box open. I got like one box opening video on here, um, but you've seen me play MTG Arena on Twitch. Uh, I was a big proponent of playing Magic still, even after their Magic 30 bullshit that happened. Them having a disdain for the player base, which if this incident isn't to show you what they actually think of you as a person when they when they send a bunch of fucking jackbooted Nancys to your house because you you were to be treated like a criminal and it wasn't your fault nah man nah son we ain't playing that game so at the end of this video i'm sorry to have such a negative video but this does need to be brought to light uh they are not worthy of your money they are not worthy of your sponsorship your love or your dedication they are not worthy they've betrayed us and they betrayed this guy most of all i hope he takes him to court and i hope he sues the fuck out of them if he does take him to court to sue them for this unlawful action of the search and seizure and intimidation and the lying that they did with through the security uh if he has a you know gofundme or something i'm going to donate to it and i'm going to post the link if i find it still on that note i want everybody to have a wonderful day i'm going to try and get a couple more videos out this week i love you god bless and goodbye